Hi, Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise, AutoAppraise.com. Cool evening in Michigan here in September. We're doing a 1937 Buick tonight, Model 41 dual cowl mount car. Getting ready to take it for a test drive and uh, just finished up about a three hour long inspection. Go ahead and fire it up. Cold start in the car. Engine's been reportedly rebuilt less than 500 miles ago. Didn't see any puff of smoke. Let's take a look at the gauges. Well, the temperature's not coming up yet. You probably no, can't see no. that yet. Okay, well, we're going to have to check that out after we drive it. Gas gauge appears to be working. Yeah, yep. Oil pressure is just Work. under 30 pounds and. Uh, charges going on. The interior's had some restorative work. Uh, looks like maybe the moths got to this front seat cover, but uh, it's set up in an original fashion. Some extra parts in the back still. Headliner was uh, done. Door panels were done. The light I know is a little dark. It's getting to be late here. There's some stage one pitting patina, some uh, plating fade on some of the trim door handles, trunk trim, the dual cowl mount spare trim is nice, reproduction uh, hubcaps on those 16-inch uh, factory steel wheels. Original steel underbody is in very nice shape. Those are replacement uh, running boards, so they're not steel, but the rest of the car is sufficiently strong. The engine sounds good. Got a little bit of a rear main seal leak. All the original suspensions in place, both front and rear. Nothing really been done there, but seems to be sufficiently stable. I did a magnet test all the way around the exterior body on this car. The magnetic adhesion is really good. There was one small spot along the base of the front left fender, down here, from about eight or 10 inches long, that didn't uh, allow a business card magnet to stick on its own. It would. It would stick, just not necessarily, um, just not necessarily on its own. The rest of the car has very good magnetic adhesion, very good period lines. The bottoms of the doors are sufficiently solid. The gas tank's clean. Fuel lines and brake lines are in good shape. We're getting ready to take her out for a ride. You can see this original grill finish is pretty deteriorated. Lots of green and some pitting and some. Minor patina on these headlight bezels. Yeah. Same with the uh, same with the hood trim. Home strips on them, but they were uh, when I when I bought them, they, they made an aluminum. I got I got a set up there. Okay. But they're not the chrome. They're uh, they're um, they were they were aluminum. For right the there. running boards. The, the okay. running boards. Take one of the running boards. Oh, okay. So the strips have been deleted from the running boards. All righty. We're going to take her for a ride. Okay. The gentleman that uh, we just spoke with has owned this car since 1975. And uh, the car had a little bit of dust on it when we got here. We wiped it down. The windshield is uh, showing some dust. Yeah. But the glass has all been uh, cut and replaced on the vehicle. It's all new flat glass. Window regulators work pretty good. A little bit stiff in the rear. The car was completely uh, detrimmed prior to being painted. It's got uh, varying levels of orange peel and a little bit of uh, sand scratches here and there and some general uh, chips and scratches, but it's got a very nice uh, short distance appearance. Good uh, local driver quality car. Nice solid original unmolested car. No aftermarket uh, no aftermarket uh, components really noted. Exhaust seems to be sufficiently quiet. Speedometer seems to be operating. Trip odometer is turning. Oil pressure seems to be maintaining just under 30 pounds. The glove box liner is currently uh, in the back seat. 
ashtray works. This uh, faux wood treatment was restored by the owner. Uh, maybe just a little bit darker than what the original was, but uh, certainly presentable. The original uh, regulators for the windows and the door handle pulls, you can see some of the uh, uh, cracked trim and some of the pitting, stage one and stage two pitting and patina on those. Our clock's not operating, but I think uh, with the age of that, it's probably pretty acceptable. The steering wheel uh, rim doesn't show any uh, cracks. There's some general patina and pitting on the horn center. Taking a quick pause, Auto Appraise has 310 inspectors on the ground nationwide out jacking up cars and doing magnet tests, test driving old vehicles, kind of give you an idea of what you're getting before it lands in your driveway. That's the concept of the service. If you need help, 800-301-3886 or email us cars at autoappraise.com, 800-301-3886. This 1937 Buick is a uh, it's a good looking car. You don't see a lot of dual cow mount cars out there in the market. How about how old's the paint on this car? That's a good question. I ten to twelve years old. I'm guessing. Okay. Seems to roll down the road pretty good. The steering wheel doesn't appear to be hopping or the suspension nope. doesn't seem to be fighting you nope. much? Nope. Got an added aftermarket button under the dash. Is that for the, uh, it's not for the horn, that's for sure. What's that button down there for? Which one? On the left side, the billet that's button. The, that's the start button. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. A modified what, start button? You have, you have to ask him, yeah. So right here is the ignition right here. Yep. It does have an upgraded wiring harness. It's uh, still a six bolt car. Yeah, the whole, the, whole, the whole wiring harness has all been replaced. Everything. Tires seem to flow down the road pretty nice. How about uh, giving us a hit on the brakes there at 50 miles an hour with uh, take your hands off the wheel slightly and see what we got going on. Pulling a little bit to the right? Yeah, I'm dead. We're going to hop up here. Maybe we'll do a Chinese fire drill and uh, see what else we got. It's been sitting, so who knows how much you don't know. Seems to be a pretty good running car, and it seems to be shifting without issue. Yeah. Do we accelerate hard and let off the gas here? Leave the shifter right where it's at? No. It's not popping out of gear. No. doesn't seem to have any uh, issues. Where is that engaging off the floor? Approximately where off the floor? Do you have any idea? Um, halfway, maybe, maybe a little further up. All right. I'm guessing. Jason Phillips from Auto Appraiser wrapping up a video. 1937 Buick, model 41. Four door. Dual cowl car. Good solid survivor body, original unrestored underbody. Floors are in good solid shape. They've not been restored. Original fuel lines, brake lines, fuel tank. All those components look clean. We're doing 60. Car seems to hold the road pretty nice. Let us know if we can do an inspection for you sometime. 310 inspectors nationwide. Check out some of our other YouTube videos as well. Go to Auto Appraises channel on YouTube. Leave some comments and feedback. Have a great day.